Hello and welcome to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And if you haven't yet, please do be on honor and click on that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications so you know every time I upload a video. Now today's video, we're going to have a look at another animal. We're going to have a look at a species of reptile. Uh, this is one that my parents keep, but I also keep these at work as well. Um, but we're going to have a look at the ones uh, from my parents' garden. So we're going to have a look at today at the leopard tortoise. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the leopard tortoise, or Stigmachelis pardalis. Now, the leopard tortoise uh, obviously gets its common name from its absolutely beautiful patterning on their shells, with this yellow and black patterning. And also it goes into their scientific name of pardalis. <laughs> now, leopard tortoise is uh, from Africa, it's from kind of across Africa, from the savannah and scrubland areas of Angola, Botswana, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Kenya, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Rwanda, Somalia, South Africa, South Sudan, Tanzania, um, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and a whole host of other countries within Africa as well. Now, leopard tortoise is actually the fourth largest tortoise in the world, and the second largest tortoise in Africa. So the only one's bigger than... These guys, uh, when these get fully grown, are the Sulcatas, uh, which is the largest in Africa. And then the two largest species, uh, which are both island species, and that's the Aldabran from the Seychelles. And then the largest being the Galapagos giant tortoise from, of course, the Galapagos Islands. As I said, the leopard tortoise uh, comes from savannah and shrubland areas of Africa, so it likes it pretty, pretty warm, uh, and also kind of fairly dry but they still need some humidity uh, for them and for these guys to keep them in captivity here in the UK do find the best uh, when you can is to let them outside uh, so these guys are two of my parents ones uh, they do actually have three um, but one didn't really like to be filmed uh, so that's fine and uh, these guys share a outside run with a soul carter tortoise uh, that they rehomed and they have a shed to go into um, as they please with UVB lighting and heat lighting and stuff so it keeps them nice and warm in there but they'll spend a lot of time outside and outside is one of the best places to keep a tortoise especially a tortoise uh, like this they do get a decent size these ones aren't fully grown yet um, an adult leopard tortoise can potentially reach up to 18 kilos in weight so as you can imagine they get a decent size now, and so tortoise tables really aren't suitable uh, for this sort of species. They just get far too big. So they find they do really need their own kind of outbuilding. So whether that be something that my parents have, which is a shed that is fully insulated, including insulation on the floor, uh, it's hooked up to the mains electricity, get warm all year round, and then I've got a light wave unit with uh, T5 UVB Arcadia tubes in there, as well as uh, essentially a patio heater. Uh, to keep them nice and warm, that gives out really good uh, infrared heat that really heats up the animals uh, absolutely lovely. But yeah, they'll come out quite often uh, during the day, especially on sunny days. But leopard tortoises, I find, like to be out almost no matter the weather. And I find a lot of time, if you keep them purely inside or inside for long periods of time, it can affect them. Uh, it can make them become kind of nasally a bit. So they don't like being... Uh, or haven't been felt sort of contained or anything, they do need really good airflow uh, with them. So again, they're not really suitable for vivarium life. And so and most tortoises aren't suitable for vivarium life. And in fact, I say most tortoises aren't suitable uh, for your standard commercially bought tortoise stables. Um, I do find, again, most tortoises, if you can, keep them outside. Now, diet for these guys is primarily grass. They are a grazing species. So... Everything in the outside enclosure is edible for them. Uh, so it's lots of grass and then various garden weeds as well. So some of your common ones, things like dandelions, plantain, they absolutely love thistles. Although weirdly, I find a lot of tortoises um, will eat thistles once they've been picked. Um, and if you just grow them in the enclosure, they don't often kind of go from the might take the odd nibble. Uh, but that's about it. But I do find as soon as you pick a thistle and lay it down on the ground, they destroy the thistle uh, completely. So, 
other foods that you can buy from various uh, flowering plants, so things like pansies and violas, hibiscus, all these things are really good for them as well. Um, and one of the best things is prickly pear cactus, a pumptia. So that stuff is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm pretty much every tortoise loves it. There is, uh, I know a few people that say their tortoises will not eat it whatsoever, um, which is really odd. Uh, a lot of animals absolutely love prickly pear. It's packed full of calcium, uh, which is absolutely brilliant for, for all reptiles, uh, especially, well, all herbivorous reptiles. So, so yeah, so these guys start wise, lots of weeds, uh, lots of grass. You want to avoid any kind of fruits or vegetables for them. Um, for, you know the wrong diet can lead to pyramiding which this one has a little bit of um so it probably had a bit of the wrong diet before it came to us and potentially the wrong uh environmental parameters as well so, so it's really important when keeping the tortoise that you do research the diet for that tortoise really well um look at what kind what the flora is like uh in the areas that they naturally come from have a look at photos see if you can identify any plants that they uh that actually perhaps eat in the wild and see you know, if you can get something similar at least um, for them. But I say these guys, you know, grass, 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 and over the winter, um, when there's not so much outside, we'll actually supplement it with things like hay and products like Grazon and Just Grass, which is essentially just cut up dried grass anyway. So, um, and again, they all absolutely love that uh, too. And so they do need to get warm all year round. They do not hibernate. And as well as good diet, you want to get a good supplement regime with multivitamin dust and calcium dust as well. There's a whole host on the market. I love the Arcadia range. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the leopard tortoise and hopefully you'll agree with me. As always, they're fantastic, beautiful animals. I absolutely love working with leopard tortoises. And like I say, the ones in this video were parents, but I also work with them in the zoo. Uh, we have a group of four uh, with some Sokata tortoises as well. Another fantastic species. Now, uh, if uh, tortoises are something that interests you, you ever keep tortoises or are looking into getting into tortoises, I'll uh, link down below the group I help run, which is the Suffolk Tortoise Keepers on Facebook. Uh, but there's other groups out there that are fantastic as well. Um, I'll list those down too. There's also some really not so good ones out there, um, which I won't list. And so if you're interested in joining a what I deem a good group, for tortoises look at my list um, that i'll put down in the description and uh join them all they're, they're all fantastic uh things like norfolk tortoise group absolutely fantastic uh bunch of people as well as tortoise are us as of um they, like i said there's a few that i would avoid and stuff but the ones i'll list are the ones uh, i would recommend to anyone uh, to join i'll also uh, list down some pages as well um for you and even um i'll have to lift, put down the um Tortoise Table website where they they do an app, um, but also the, where they've got the plant database. So if you keep tortoises, you can actually use that to search for what plants you can feed to your tortoise, what's safe and what's not safe. I find it absolutely valuable. I use it a lot myself. Um, and it's always good to refresh uh, yourself and what can be fed and what can't be fed uh, to tortoises because it can change. So it's always good to keep up to date with these sort of things. So um new updates i will be going to bloodstock uh at the time of filming this today uh this is about sunday which is the last day of bloodstock so i'll be currently when you're watching this in a field probably just waking up with a hangover uh that's <laughs> all good for the last day of bloodstock uh totally stoked for that obviously hasn't been on since 2019 uh and hopefully i kind of planned uh, hopefully it'll work i might try and do a bit of a bug hunt uh whilst at the festival if i remember and if i find anything um so we'll see so there might be a bit of a video on bloodstock uh coming up and then a week uh, or the next following sunday from that so from when this comes out she's so next sunday is the first invert show since all this kind of stuff happened uh the western invert show and all being well i will be there so I've, Totally looking forward to getting back into into the shows. Uh, so the Western Invert show, oh, again, I'll put details uh, down below. But there, it's uh, near Bristol. So it's kind of the other side of the UK uh, from me, the other side of England from me. Um, but yeah, totally looking forward to, to going there. And if you're coming, do come up and say hi to me. 
as well. I would love to meet everyone, anyone and everyone, and just chat about bugs. And it'll be great to see everyone that there that I haven't seen for over a year. So, so totally looking forward to that. So yeah, just a couple of things coming up. Uh, so yeah, with that, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please put some comments down below. And uh, again, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. But I, so I upload every Sunday, so I'll see you next Sunday. Take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.